Okay, so first of all, we need uh, two inputs. The first one is a still image with some colors. In my case, it's a uh, gradient thing because uh, the colors in, in the animation depends on uh, colors in this input so pick uh, that one that you like you can also uh, make a ramp top and uh, play with colors here to get something similar and the second uh, input is to create a mask in uh, later stages of, uh, of the process to make this uh, this line shapes okay so now we don't need it only need this one and uh, noise stop and change resolution to 1280 by 1280 here and pixel format to 32 bit float and change period to 2.9 uh, increase a little bit amplitude and decrease offset to get this uh, milky shapes okay and now we need a blur top and composite and connect it to composite Connect this noise here and change operation to subtract. And now increase the filter size here, and pressuring to two. And now we have this a little bit visible white shapes to. Get it more visible, we need a level and increase brightness here to something like a 5.9. Okay. And now... And now we need another one. Blur. Just a little bit, one and one. Okay. And now make a composite here and composite here. And connect our color profile and our noise. And now we got a mask from our noise and we can make it animate so type abs time dot seconds multiplied by something really small like this we got this comment here okay and connect our composite free to composite two and change operation to dimmest. Okay, now we have something like this. But like it, be, like before, we need to make it a little bit brighter. So make a level and increase brightness to seven point four. And now we can see some colors. Okay, that's good. So now use blur to make it a little bit blur, more blurry and add composite.
copy our noise from here, here, and add level. And in this noise, decrease period to zero, but our noise is too black now. So change offset to 0.5. You can also reset this by clicking here. Okay, and now connect it here. Change operation to add and change opacity of our noise to something really small like this. Okay, so that's the first part of our chain. Now we need to copy this. Okay, and now the important step is to change the beginning of this chain. So add limit here and change quantize to saving and decrease position step to Oh, do something like this to get this mosaic-like effect. And now uh, 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 delete this. Add composite here. Add level here. Connect it to our composite and now change operation to add and decrease opacity of our second chain. So okay, also the important thing is uh, order of our layers here. The first one should be noise and the second should be our uh, input uh, here the same okay so add rgb key here on the end of the chain and now we need to make it a little bit more noisy so copy this noise from here add composite and connect this blur here Okay, here also uh, the order of the layers are important because we need to change it to overlay and uh, as you can see now it's a little bit too noisy so change order like this. Okay, we can now make our, we can also make it a little bit brighter. So change brightness to 2 and add composite here, connect our noise level with the noise from here. And change operation to negate. Okay, so now the first step of our chain is completed. Now we need to make a mask from this video. So fit it to the square, change resolution 1280 by 1280, make it a little bit bigger. And now we need to create mask from this. So use threshold, change a little bit threshold in my case. Okay, and add blur. 
increase filter size and brushing to two. And now we need to make a basic feedback a loop with a feedback level and composite. Connect our blur to composite. Send it to feedback. Change operation to Y film here and decrease opacity a little bit. Okay. And now we need something to make the reset uh, resetting our feedback. Uh, automatically so use uh, an LFO and change it to pulse the type and connect it to uh, pulse parameter on the feedback and decrease a little bit of frequency to make it slower okay and now we need another one blur Increase filter size to maximum and it's okay. And the last step is create composite here and connect our blur and make the same right after our limit top here. So composite and connect this blur. Okay. And now we can also uh, make a background a little bit more darker because you can see our shapes has more black color so add level and increase a little bit black level parameter okay so that's all you can also play with this composite here or here to get um, the other results or with a composite in our feedback loop here to get something like that. like this or Okay, so that's really weird. Okay, so uh, that's all for this tutorial. Hope you enjoy it and you can also support me on my Patreon if you want and uh, Take care and see you soon in the next tutorial, I hope. <laughs>